Be sure to have all the parts and pieces in place before you start. Assemble the wash stand according to the instructions. Now it's time to hang the wash stand on the wall. Use a spirit level to adjust the cabinet to the wall. The wall fittings with your IKEA furniture allow for some height adjustment. If you're not sure whether the wall can support heavy weights, you can secure the cabinet at one or more additional points along the horizontal plinth at the back. You can also use legs for extra support. If included, adjust the legs to the floor. First turn the wash basin upside down to install the overflow pipe and ring according to the assembly instructions. All our wash basins come with a water trap. Screw the parts together loosely. Next install the tap. It comes with connection hoses, installation tool, water strainer and fittings. All the taps come with ceramic disc cartridges and water saving aerator. With the tap assembly instructions as a guide, mount the tap to the wash basin. Loosely tighten the two nuts with the provided installation tool. Later you can align the tap with the centre. Time to fix the wash basin to the wash stand. First make sure that everything fits. Align the wash basin on both sides perfectly to the wash stand and check that the front of the wash basin is a few centimetres deeper than the wash stand to protect it from water splashes. Apply silicon to the edges. Using tape when you apply the silicon helps to avoid too much mess on the wash basin and wash stand. Next, place the wash basin on top of the wash stand. Remember to remove the tape as soon as you align the wash basin with the wash stand to avoid excess silicon on the surface of your furniture. Align the tap. Tighten the nuts with the installation tool provided. Tighten the overflow ring according to the assembly instructions. Connect the hoses to the water supply. Red tape on the hose indicates hot water, so you should connect it to the hot water supply. Don't over tighten the nuts on the connection hoses as this can damage the rubber washer inside. Check that all the parts are connected according to the assembly instructions. Make the overflow opening on the water trap. This is easier to do while the trap is on the floor. Then connect the water trap to the overflow pipe following the assembly instructions. Connect the water strainer to the water trap using the tool provided. Gently tighten the screw. Finally, connect the water trap to the drain. Adjust the connector provided according to the diameter and location of your drainage pipes. 
Make sure that the water trap is pushed back all the way to ensure space for the drawer. Adjust the length of the flexible hose when connecting to the drainage so that it doesn't stretch or isn't too long and bent excessively. Now check that it all looks correct according to the assembly instructions. Open the water supply and check that there is no leakage from the pipework and connection hoses. Then turn on the tap to check that there's no water leakage in the water trap system and that everything works well. The cold start function on this and other taps in our range helps to save energy. From the central to the right hand position of the lever you get only cold water. You get warm water by moving the lever from the centre to the left. The final touch is to seal the edges of the wash basin with silicon to protect the furniture from water splashes and to cover the gap between wall and wash basin. After application, you'll need a mild soap liquid to spray on the sides where silicon has been applied. Even it up with your fingernail. This way you can also remove any excess silicone and make your installation look nice and tidy. Using the tool provided, you can detach the water trap and strainer and clean the dirt that can build up over time. We advise you to keep the tool for future use. Another tip is to clean debris and dirt from the aerator that is placed in the tap removing it with a single coin and rinsing the filter with running water. Do this from time to time to keep the aerator clean. Assemble the drawers according to the assembly instructions. All Gomoron drawers come with adjustable dividers, so you can move them around and customise your drawer according to your storage needs. Set up the rails. Set the drawers in the right place. The deeper drawer goes at the bottom. Put the drawer on the rail and slide it all the way to the back of the rail and then make sure the drawer locates the hook in the back. Slightly push down the drawer until it clicks into place and use the locking fitting to secure the drawer in place. Usually you won't need to adjust the drawer, but there are three different ways how to ensure that it fits the frame nicely. Refer to the assembly instructions for more details. Last step. Stick the bumpers to the back of the drawer front. The drawer is fully extendable for easy access of your things. There's no cutout in the middle, which gives you a full storage capacity, as well as smooth running and soft closing rails. <music>